Well, imagine owning the home that once welcomed Motown legends from Diana Ross to Michael Jackson. The home originally owned by Barry Gordy is once again changing hands, and as photographer Alex Atwell shows us, the new owner is ready to get back to the roots of this uniquely Detroit mansion. I'm Cynthia Reeves, and you're at the Motown Mansion in Detroit, Michigan, former residence of Barry Gordy Jr. The Barry Gordy Mansion, or the Motown Mansion, I call it, is very important to the city of Detroit. It represents the story of a local kid who made good. Today is an exciting day. It's a bittersweet day. Today is the day that I sold my beloved mansion to a gentleman from California. I'm Alan Brown. I'm a consultant and researcher. I work in the arts and culture sector, and I'm thrilled to be moving back to Detroit. I've taken this home as far as I can take it. I'm looking forward to seeing someone take it to the next level of development. With the great grace of Cynthia Reeves, I'm so humbled and honored to be uh, allowed to acquire this magnificent estate. Really, honestly, uh, the most exciting day of my life, to really able to say I'm, I'm back in Detroit. I'm gonna miss the beauty of the home. There really, in my opinion, is no home in the city of Detroit that has the beauty that this home has. Well, this is a one-of-a-kind property. And to walk into this home and see the craft work of the original craftsman who built this house is breathtaking, honestly. It's a magnificent piece of the history of Detroit. And we're very fortunate that it is part of the city, that we've had the prior owners who allow this home to stay intact. They haven't stripped it, it has its original features, and I'm gonna miss that. It's a magnificent piece of the history of Detroit. And of course, I grew up dancing to Motown artists, and um, I'm just th thrilled to be able to play a role in carrying on the magnificent legacy of this house and carrying forward the great work that Cynthia has done. I leave so knowing that the home is in good care, and I know that I have done the best that I can do with this home. I've, and I'm just so, so happy that it's gonna to continue to be part of the community of Detroit. And the future? Music. I'm a classically trained musician. I attended University of Michigan School of Music. I'm a trained singer. I would love to uh, bring this home alive again with music. Wow. And joining us now in studio is Cynthia Reeves, the seller of the home. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. This is exciting to hear about. It is wonderful, and it has been a long search to find the right person. You know, uh, we've had the house on the market. I put it on the market, and I got inundated with people from all over the world that were, was interested. It was so overwhelming, we took it off the market for a while just so I could kind of calm down. And then we went back on, and I did a considered search. We had many people who were interested. And Alan was the right fit. He has, he has a love of the history of the home and the music. So I'm happy to be able to transition the property to him. Oh, you're talking about the future. He says music will be involved. Give me your reaction to that. I'm ecstatic about it. I think of it as kind of paralleling the, the original owner, Nels Mickelson, who built the home. Mm. He was the person that built it. My job was to bring it back. The home had been shuttered for five years. Wow. I restored it. I won awards for restoring it. And then I started to make it part of the community again through the um, you know hosting events and fundraisers for many charities. And now Alan will be able to take it to the next level and bring the music back to the mansion. So it's exciting. That's very exciting. So we have some pictures that you shared with us and the history of the mansion. So what was your part of the story when you look at the pictures and think about the history of this estate? That's amazing. Well, I think of many parts of it. First of all, I am the first woman to own the mansion that has always been held by male owners. So that's a little, you know, feather in my cap. But growing up, in, smile. <laughs> growing up in Detroit, this was the place that we saw. I grew up across the street. My parents still live there. And I would see the wonderful parties that were going on. And when I came back to Detroit and became a partner with the firm, I noticed the house was shuttered. And so my mission was, I'd love to see this house become part of the community again and to be able to use it in service of the community. So my family and I have hosted fundraisers from everything from the Detroit Police Action League to United Way, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, all kinds of charities. Yeah. So that's been, you know, really my excitement about owning it. Okay, so tell us about that piano. We saw Stevie well, in the last shot, now we yeah, see Yeah, MJ. One of the things that we're gonna be doing as part of the wind down is we're gonna have an estate sale. And 
there's nothing at the Motown Mansion that's small. We, our belief is larger than life is just the right size. So it's actually an estate sale extravaganza. And we're going to be auctioning off this uh, piano as part of the estate sale. A portion of the proceeds will be going to certain charities that I support. But also, um, we are going to be having Motown artists join us. And so there are lots of Motown memorabilia <coughs> items that are going to be there and people that are going to be able to get an instant collectible. We'll have the artists there to sign things. And so it's just going to be a lot of fun. And, 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 and in the same way, we're bringing in the community. There's things like matchbooks. If, if you don't have a large budget, there's something for everybody. Sure. I want this to still be a community event. This house has always been part of the community. Wow. Excellent. What's Very next for cool. you personally? Well, well, what's next for me is uh, I'm going on a journey of my own to better health, and it's got, called SkinnyThick.com. And so what this is is that, you know, people who are um, wanting to lose weight, it's very ex and a very expensive process for some people. What we're noticing is that in urban <coughs> communities, we have food deserts and the inability to get to things. So this program is really designed for people who are on a budget, who live in communities where they may not have as much access to fresh fruits and vegetables. And so, you know, you go to SkinnyThick.com. We're, we're partnering for, with YouTube. And so I got to get subscribers. If I get 10,000, I get to be able to be part of their studio. But in the last month, I've lost 30 pounds on this program. Oh, so it's been really awesome. a wonderful program. And so I'm excited to share that with the community. And people can find out all about it on the MotownMansion.com site, the estate sale. We're working with Aaron's Estate Sales in Birmingham to do it. So it's going to be fun. Wonderful. Excellent. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you Absolutely. so much for having me, and thank you for allowing me again to share this home with the community for one last time. Absolutely. Absolutely. And next on live.